Exercise number two are simulation of altitude training breath holds. It's the same exact setup. I take a silent, normal breath horizontally through the nose, deeply into the south pole, and then I take a silent exhale and I plug. Now this time we're gonna walk. And when we get to 50%, instead of letting go, we're gonna walk faster. Now, in your first month, you're gonna be doing this seated. But in your second month, you'll be walking. Your third month, you'll be jogging. And maybe in your fourth month, you'll be sprinting. So it goes silent, normal breath in, silent, normal breath out, plug, you walk. Now, when you're feeling like you're holding your breath 50%, you're going to walk a little faster and you're going to increase the buildup of carbon dioxide, which is going to simulate as if you were at high altitude because as carbon dioxide increases during the breath hold, oxygen goes down and it creates an acidic environment inside the blood. And as you get adapted to holding your breath longer and longer, you're able to simulate functioning at a high altitude. And that is the barometer of how you handle stress. And you're going to do five breath holds. Now, after the breath hold, what you do is, as you walk faster, you're gonna let go. And you're either gonna breathe in as slowly as you can, but a lot of you are not gonna feel good breathing in. So you're going to exhale. So I'm holding my breath, I'm holding my breath. Now I'm gonna exhale. And I'm gonna let all the air come out, and then I'm gonna breathe in as slowly as I can. So each breath, you breathe in less air than the one before. After the breath hold, you have six breaths in order to recover your breath back to normal. And then when you get to normal, you're going to take your finger and you're gonna put it in front of your nose and you're gonna breathe very, very small breaths to the point of what we consider to be air hunger. So after the breath hold, I exhale, I minimize, I take another breath, I minimize each breath less than the one before. And after the sixth breath, I'm gonna put my finger here and I'm gonna to try to make sure that I don't feel any air on my finger. And I'm gonna breathe ever so softly. Now this shouldn't be comfortable. It should be a little bit challenging. It should be the feeling that you say to yourself, I want to take a bigger breath, but what you're doing is you're allowing your body to adapt to the buildup of carbon dioxide and you're becoming tolerant to lactate and that is simulating altitude training. After you do one to three minutes of air hunger breathing, then you put your hands on your kidneys and you take six breaths or seven breaths. You breathe in for three, out for six. In for three, out for six. So breath holding is a four step process. Breathe in silently, exhale silently, hold my breath. Number two, let go, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, six times. Number three, after that sixth breath, we perform air hunger for one to three minutes. If you have a hard time holding your breath, you need to spend more time practicing air hunger. Step number four is we need to bring all the carbon dioxide levels back to baseline. So we take seven, six, or seven breaths, which is 54 seconds to a minute and three. And after that, you go right into the next breath hold.